<laughs> Sorry, it seems like there are some uh, connection issues in my area. It sounds like it looks like they're doing some work. So apologies, I pre <laughs> A few moments later. A few moments later, indeed. I think there's some connection issues in the area. Um, I looked outside, and there's a big truck who's uh, who's doing things. So I assume that we're having some issues there. Interesting username right there. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for the stretch. And the hydrates. Thank you. Yes, so sorry about that. It seems like my connection today is going to be a bit unstable. I can't even blame it on OBS because um, it's uh, it's not OBS today. It's the entire connection that drops. Check Kun on its way to Isekai the internet. No! Don't Isekai my internet. I'm just trying to have a good time. Can I- oh wait, I can't cut things. That's the issue, I couldn't cut things. Hopefully there's not too many other drops, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Tracking is too powerful. Too powerful. I don't have- I think I don't have superior, like, like uh, kitchen equipment that I can craft yet, so that's an issue for later. Are you German? No, but I speak German. A burger man? Hmm. <coughs> Wizard, please do not contaminate my internet connection. Please do not give it bad ideas. Okay, sure. It's 20 degrees? Why do they want it to be so warm? What the hell? Wait, why did... Oh, let's sleep through the night. <coughs> so I can get my guest request back, okay. No, please show me my guest request. Please. Here we go. Um, they all want it to be so warm. Why do they want it to be so warm? They don't need this much heat, guys. You don't need this. You don't need this. You're the IT wizard now? No. Thank you, Kaya. It seems like there's some works going on uh, in my area. Making it... They wanted 24 degrees. That's too warm. Okay, it's 24 degrees now, okay. Why do they want 24 degrees? That's so... <laughs> They're so demanding. Cannot believe they would ask so much of me. Yeah, like, it's 20 degrees. 20 should be way enough, right? They tried to steal the internet? No! They haven't seen the gas prices, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, how dare you contaminate my chat? Wow, the audacity. How dare them peasants? Yeah. Like, this is where you're stranded. Deal with it. <laughs> you don't get a choice as where to go anyway. This is the only thing in the area. Just cope. <laughs> you know if you can cope. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so. I just have to complete some stay. So we're just gonna... Let that do its thing. Uh, eight though? I should probably make another bedroom then. I should probably build a bedroom here. It's gonna be like the world's shittiest bedroom. Such an awkward layout, isn't it? Hey Lollipop, just refresh. Can someone tell Lollipop to refresh in case they haven't yet? Um, okay. It's just all the most high quality. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys.
Okay, so if I move this door, I would move this door here so I have more space. And then I can make a... This world's tiniest bedroom. <laughs> oh lord. Thank you, Rugetsu. Thank you for letting them know. Thank you. Oh, hold on. Then I need a new bed. I will upgrade the bed. Yeah. <coughs> it happens sometimes here when the weather is bad that my connection gets a bit iffy. But I live in the United Kingdom, okay? <laughs> and if there's one thing people know- Oh, I made the wrong type of bed, didn't I? If there's one thing people know about the United Kingdom is that the weather seldom is good. You know, we should- bad weather is something we really should be coming to expect. Is what I'm saying. Okay, here it is. It's looking pretty alright. We have all the essentials in there. Alright. Prayers to all the people in the UK. Sucks to be here, doesn't it? <coughs> no, they're not okay, Shadow. If they want to move, they're not okay. I thought that too, but I was there for two months in summer, the weather is great in London. It was too hot in London. Oh my god, it was roasting in London, Wabo. I would not have wanted to be there. Too warm. Too warm. Okay, can I host this one? 22, 23, 4. That's looking good. Very good, buddy. There you go. Um, I mean, we had really good weather this summer. Yeah, we had good weather in summer. Too warm, but we had good weather. Um, we are now, however. Wait, can I bin this? How do I bin this? It is now significantly colder. The summer is over. And it's been raining every day. <laughs> The weather's been so shite. I mean, it's alright actually right now. <clears throat> Basically, the nice thing is when it rains here, it doesn't rain the whole day. It usually just is like for a few, for a while. So it's gonna rain later today, but it's it's okay. But it looks so grim on the weather forecast. <laughs> looks very, very grim, I'm gonna be honest with you. In Germany? Yeah, I mean, I like summer weather in Germany. Usually. So, autumn, you like winter? Oh, no, oh, no I, I am not looking forward to winter at all. Okay. So don't care, we're gonna gather some resources. For, we're doing pretty well on our quests. I just don't want to be cold, yeah. I mean, I like winter as a season. Like, aesthetically, I like it. You want winter? But, oh, dry and hot. I like dry and hot. The bane of my existence is what the UK does, which is humid and hot. I don't like that. It's just <laughs> during autumn and winter time, it's just summer. Oh, I see. Yeah, I like the idea of winter, right? I like the concept of winter. I like the aesthetics of winter. But, um, I don't want to make this a bummer. I don't want to make this a bummer stream, but... The UK is facing a bit of a uh, housing, heating, um, economic crisis. <laughs> the UK is shit's fucked, guys. Shit's fucked in the UK. Um, so we and we have a bit of a fuel crisis. We have a bit of a cost of living crisis. And I know it's been bad everywhere, but the UK has been fucked. So um, I fully anticipate that. Um, People are going to be dying. So I, I'm not looking forward to that. I think it's gonna be really difficult. I keep seeing articles of like, hey, how can we like make sure our old people don't die? Because they're too cold and die. Just yeah, it's just grim, you know. So I'm not really looking forward to this winter. Though I'd like it I liked it back home. The floor doesn't like it, also fair. I love winter, I hate snow. I like nice snow. I don't like the snow we get here, which is just kind of mush. <laughs> 35 degrees all year, apart from rainy season. What temperature you get for rainy season? I have to save for on heating this winter too. Move in with me, Kaya. I will heat for all of us. Come here. 
Winter's annoying and meet our snow in minus 25. Ugh, not a good time. Why did you move there again? <laughs> you know, sometimes I wonder myself. No, it's because of the people. People here are really nice. <laughs> Which is a wild thing to say, I know, but I really like the people here. Well, if it isn't our gracious host. I've been meaning to ask, how did you up here? Well, like most of our kind here, we often lived in the shadow of humans. Those of us that had use for. I was lucky to be large enough that even your kind would have second thoughts. I was finally at last night with our bed on the ski grounds. At that end, of course, my coat being thick enough to survive outside. All this I would brought along were not as fortunate. Jesus, Jax, that's dark! There's always a fire running in your home, though. And I'm quite certain it will stay that way until the day I lay down from my last nap. Jax, that's dark! You can grow thick skin in a one coat, but no one deserves to sleep out in the cold all their life. Jax, honey! I only need five seconds outside to agree to that. However, when the humans had a reason for celebration, their warmth was extended to all. I remember how we all gathered around the television and watched other humans tell their stories. Like a magical bonfire, keeping us all entranced. Will does that too. He makes us watch them with him. He keeps watching after we all doze off and he's still there the next day. Stories are sometimes all we have when reality doesn't suit us very well. There's a big ruined building in High Lake you might have passed on the way here. An old radio and broadcast station. That's where the stories used to come from. How did a house tell stories? I'm no expert, but it might have had something to do with the giant radio dish on top of it. Lina, thank you so much for the gifts up to Kiri. Thank you. We might be able to give you guests another chance at those stories. If you give the broadcast station the same treatment you gave the ski resort. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me catch up on my chat. Hold on. Um, here we go. I'm not excited to go back to California in the spring because the heat picks up really fast. I can't imagine. It gets way too warm there for me. I like snow when it's sunny, not that muddy stuff. Same, Kaya, same. Yeah, we get a lot of muddy snow. You guys get snow? We do, pretty. We get, we get snow. <laughs> um, the things is, I have a pretty well insulated, uh, insulated apartment, so I don't have to heat too much. That's really good. The airship's kind of shit for that, guys. I'm gonna be honest. It's pretty shit. <laughs> People in the UK imagine that. Hey, Kofi and Kat, how you doing? Get Ka Cam and Kaya some blankies, fun. <laughs> I do have, like, a massive blanket. Like, yeah, I'm used to the winters here, but it's unpleasant. They're called Welsh. They are nice, a bit mumbly. Do not understand the Welsh. I just don't get what they say. Not as dark as my future. Just light a light. <laughs> Thank you for the cozy Camille redeem. Wait, hold on. I think I have to reconnect to the server because it's being a bit iffy since my connection dropped. Hold on. Let me do that manually for you. There you go. Thank you so much. I have a spare room. I wonder you can move in. Might be a bit crowded though. <coughs> Is it gonna be like the uh, the rooms in my bed and breakfast? Fluffy socks. <gasps> Get yourself some fluffy socks. They're the best. Yeah, Lina. That happens a lot in my channel actually. That people give people subs. But then they're not sub themselves. I'm like, what the fuck? Sometimes there's like a little chain of subs going on. <laughs> okay. I have to repair the broadcast station in High Lake, so let's go do that. I love fluffy socks. I'm actually getting a little bit cold myself just now, so hold on. Let me go close the window and run the ad while I do that. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting a bit chilly as we speak. Hold on. Alright. Oh, I got small. I got small for a second. Okay. <coughs> Here we go. Pumpkin pie. Do I look like a little pumpkin pie? Chain of love. <gasps> chain of love. Chain of trust. Chain of friendship. Okay, okay. I'm getting socks right now. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm bundling up too. I'm a little bit cold. So hold on. Let me, let me bundle up. <laughs> it would be so nice to have a fire. I know. It's because we're such a wonderfully kind and generous community. We do. We do have a very generous community. It's really nice. Eh, how cold is it? 11? It's not even that cold. Why am I cold? Yeah, I should put on socks. <laughs> I, I shouldn't probably say that because, you know, um, y'all are feet degenerates, but I am, I am not wearing socks right now. That's right. I'm barefoot. Only socks, not even socks. On only flesh. <laughs> PC's a good space heater. 
See, that's the thing. It was crazy in summer. It was overheating like crazy, but now it's not doing shit. <laughs> Our community is awesome. Yes, it really is. Like the streamers? Ah, uh, yeah. Honestly, the community is usually very much influenced by the streamer. So it makes me happy that we have a nice community. It's also very chaotic. Yes. <laughs> the discord yesterday i was working and i was just sitting there like what is going on no sock stream i no sock stream i am not wearing socks right now i should because my feet are cold but not even wearing socks right now i would induce the end of times but what a way to go it would be you know, we all have to go someday, so we might as well go like this. It's like a small bundle, small cute bundle of streamers that attract the cutest cuties out there. You make a good point, honestly. Okay, so. Repair. Oh, it's highly in the broadcast station? Where's that? Was that the thing? Is that it? Up there. Okay. Discord, unexplored, uncharted. <laughs> Honest, it was chaos in the Discord server, guys. By the way, can I have a mod pop in the link, please? It was absolute chaos. Way too windy. <laughs> there is a toilet, guys. Please don't just piss anywhere. There, there are toilets. Thank you very much, VHack. Oh my god, hi Sara. We're talking about the chaos of the, uh, wait, ha haven't you said hi today already? I thought you had. Um... I was wrong. No, my man, my man, man. Now you're back from outer space. Please refresh. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about that drop. For those of you who weren't there and I explained, I think there's some works happening in my area, making it a little bit iffy. No, do not say it. Do not say it, Alipop. Do not say it. Do not say it. Thank you. Thank you, VHack. So the thing is, I think the issue is <laughs> that Sora was like, hey, chaos. And then my internet was like, yo, bet. Bet, ayo. Chaos, ayo. <laughs> Thank you. I should have been eating while I did this, and I didn't, so. Mm. I think they're doing some maintenance. Not that it ever helps, by the way. <laughs> Not the chaos, no. I think I've cleared the debris already, yeah. No! Not the chaos, no, stop it! Okay. Mm. Hold on, what do I need? No, not the robot uprising, please, not like this! Mm. I need an old antenna dish, where I find out? Here? Okay. And so you're back from Mars space. Ba, 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 ba. Around here? How would I get it? Thanks a hydrate. Shitty internet. Yeah, I don't know. Usually it's good. 
Usually it's really good, but sometimes. <clears throat> sometimes it has days like this. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes it just has weird days. <coughs> well, how do I... <coughs> how do I... Do this? How do I yoink this thing? How do I yoink it? I, I wanna... I wanna yoink this here. How do I... How do I yoink? How do I yoink? Let me yoink. Sir? I don't have another quest area here, do I? Stealing is bad. It's- they asked me to, they asked me to. Use the socks, I don't have them. They asked me to join kit. Guys, this is not a- it's not stealing if they asked me to do it. Thanks for the stretch, thank you. And so you're back. That one, maybe? No. Surely. Hiri. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> I don't know what am I supposed to do here. Thank you for the cozy mail. Thank you. I don't know what I'm so. Oh, hmm. What do you mean this gets car to? Um, just, just take it. What what am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do here? Yeah, this is the thing I need. How do I yoink it? Um, do I need to speak to someone first? Plumkin? Why Plumkin? Wait, why Plumkin? Um, what's the- What am I supposed to do? Hey, yo, don't eat me! Don't eat me! Yo, yo, this is threatening. I'm feeling very threatened. Thick by the crudo persons. <laughs> Yo, I did, did not eat me. It sounds very threatening when you say I'm plumped. Maybe if I reload my game? Because it's very clearly pointing me here. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't understand. It's huggable? I guess it is quite huggable. But if I see something's plump, I'm thinking of like a vegetable I'm gonna eat, you know? Not something I'm gonna hug. Why do I not... Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna Google it. In case I'm missing something. Another one of these old antenna. Okay, hold on. Let me give it a Google. That is just tutorials about old antennas. I, I neglected to write bear and breakfast and now I just googled old antennas. Here. Okay, how do I do this? How do I do this? That's not useful. That is actually not very useful. Okay. Okay, let's see. Quest items are unlocked. Uh... Wait, some people are saying they already have the item, what? Who eats vegetables? I only eat meat. Oh no, maybe you are Hank. Be honest with me, are you Hank? Okay, so... I have a record player, I have a microphone. I don't have an antenna though. What? Hey! Ha! Huh? What? What? Confusion. What is Hank and can you eat it? Hank is the little bear in this! The bear stash? <gasps> Wait, some people are saying it's in their stash. Did I leave it in my stash? Yeah, eating your veggies is very important, I guess, unless you're a bear. <laughs> Kiri, be honest with us. Are you a bear? Are you a bear? You cannot lie legally. You, if you're a bear, you have to say it now. Like when you're a cop, you know. <laughs> hmm, Kiri. Sus. Sus. Mm, but they don't need to eat vegetables, right? That'd be fine if they never eat a vegetable in their life. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Okay, where's my stash? You need vegetables? Good. Oh, I do have it! Oh my god, okay. I like spinach. It is weird to especially like it. That is rare. But I do like it. Spinach is great. Fish, insects, nuts, and berries. That makes sense. <clears throat> All right. I love sushi. What do you mean willingly? That implies you've had them unwillingly. What happened to you? Yes, Kiri, exactly like them. <clears throat> My these nuts to myself. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. <laughs> you know what they call it? Karma. <laughs> the circle of nuts. It's a circle of nuts. I don't know the lyrics to this song, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's perfect for your resume. Any future employees gonna see that and be like, damn, damn lollipop, that's impressive. I don't think that's a circle, actually, Dark Goku. I, I don't think that's the one. Mm, where am I going? Oh, Winterberry. Oh. Damn. Now I want to be a monk and be a Disney princess. It sounds more like a druid thing. But yeah, I want that. I want that in my life. How do I get there? How do I get there, Kiriana? How do I become a, business, a Disney princess? Oh, oh no. Oh, Kiriana, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Do, do, do not, do not, not like this. Hey, Kodachi, how you doing? Hey. <coughs> Were you able to fix it? Yes. Good. You're going above and beyond, which is a rare sight. Yeah, this should help you give your guests a place to watch their stories. Cinema seed recipe, yo. I can make a home cinema now. It was not my intention, but I had luck. <laughs> if it wasn't your intention, that's even funnier. <coughs> and a nice reprieve from the realities. Damn. Okay, escapism. That's what we're promoting now. Oh, wait. <coughs> Nice to drop by again. Good to see your tail hasn't fallen off. It's holding on for dear life. You mentioned you had a more nuanced reason for jeopardizing your posture in the cold. Something piquant, you say. Zest, yes. Um, a friend asked you to go look for something unfamiliar to kick. Unfamiliar to him? To my friend. I'm not familiar with what your friend is unfamiliar with. That word doesn't sound real to me anymore. Which word? I'm not familiar with it. <laughs> I liked you more before the sense of humor came out swinging. That's me and all of you guys. That's me about all of you. I liked you more before the sense of humor came out. <laughs> yes, well, some things are a way of thawing you out in the summer. But I did say I could help with your tasty quest in exchange for a little mission. I'm adamant that your friend hasn't cooked with one of these yet. Behold, the bitter lemon. I prefer to eat the things that don't hurt my food. <laughs> On the contrary, anything that's worth its weight in salt needs a little contrast. All of this now would be easy but glacial mystery, but nothing but glacial mystery if not for a little fire. I saved this lemon tree from the old greenhouse down the road, when chaos erupted in the valley. Soft green life was not high on the list of protection against harm. Everything was pillaged or burned. But this one sapling survived long enough to be evacuated. In exchange for its life, it's offered us its endurance, which I now pass on to you and your friend. Your friend would need some more zest in the future. Tell them a hardened but comical character would be glad to offer it. 
I'm not familiar with whom you're talking about. Ha, <laughs> ah, so there's a funny bone in there somewhere. Never! Okay, um, let me to catch up. To become a Disney princess, you need an animal sidekick and sing to them. So for you, you have to ride on Kai's back and sing love songs to her. Deal. Deal. My D&D group consists of many spellcasters and our paladin who's an experienced D&D player makes it hard for us newbies to have fun by always shaking his head and dodging our role playing and face farming. That's really unpleasant. That doesn't sound nice at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ruby's saying I'm still not sorry for my terrible sense of humor. You should be a little bit sorry. I don't know. I don't think it's because you're an experienced player, honestly. It just kind of sounds like they're being an ass. <laughs> like... I've played D&D for years, and I'm playing with, like, people who hadn't before, and that doesn't mean I have to be an ass to them. Yeah. That's a pain. I'm sorry, it, it, it's... yeah, that's not what you want. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, it doesn't mean you have to be an ass. Okay, I have to bring the lemon to Julia, okay. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm, Ruby, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Just so funny. The reason I use them as meat shield. <laughs> revenge. Your revenge will be swift and terrible. Okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, where does she live? Highland? <coughs> Honestly, yeah, it sounds like your friend's just being a bit of a, of a poop head. Exactly, absolutely snuggle. And different people, independent of like experience level, just play differently. People want different things out of the game and that's fine. There's no right or wrong way to do it. My D&D group is all noobs, including me. The DM so much chaos. That sounds really fun. That sounds fun. Oh my god, Kiri, that does sound fancy. It sounds like you can have a good time. I love the Raven Queen. You're doing her a favor? Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> See, I didn't get startled this time. Hello! Oh! Okay, maybe a little bit. You're back again. It's hard to get used to not be surprised to that. Um, did you find what you were looking for? Did I ever? I find you what you're looking for. Am I the Raven Queen? No comment. <laughs> oh my, oh golly, that's the ripest lemon I've ever seen. How did you get it? These don't grow anywhere. Thank you for the hydro, Kaya. Thank you. Now you can use your health redeems again. Oh, this bear has a few tricks up his. Uh, up your what, Hank? Where are the tricks? <laughs> Hank, show me where the tricks are. Behind his, um... Hank, where did the tricks come from? Where did the lemon come from? A big furry dog looking thing gave it to me. Said he procured it from a glacial greenhouse or something? The winterberry greenhouse? I thought it was gone. Well, it's still there, kind of. More like a brown house now. Sorry. This is incredible. I didn't think you could grow things like this anywhere in the valley. Well, you still can't. Nothing growing in there but my hate for all things cold. But we could if you fixed it, right? Like you did with the farmhouse. I guess so? <clears throat> yes, we could. And if with lemon seeds, who knows what else we could grow in there? Oh goodness, this is exciting. Okay, all right. I'll need some things. I'll need to get pl some plants to get started. Okay, so you're doing this. Some chamomile. Yes, hurry up. Ooh, that's excited. Okay, small, succulent, and leafy contrast plant. How do I get those? <clears throat> I am not saying this out loud, Kariana. That's not happening. Well done, my child. Hell yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job, okay. Camps the vampire, uh, vampire queen? No! No, 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 no. It would be inappropriate for them to have a, uh, a uh, queen that's not a vampire. Good for you, Hank. Look at, look at him go. I mean, look, if you were a bear, wouldn't, wouldn't you be into Hank? I mean, what a prime specimen of the bear species. That's a weird thing to say, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, now how do I get these? In the trash? What a what a specimen. Midwest bear? 
It's see that's the most fun thing about D and D. I think Dark Koku. It's when you actually get those inside jokes with your friends. Wait, which was it? Small succulent plant and leafy contrast. So small succulent plant here, and leafy contrast. This one. <laughs> Vhack's like hmm, and I fear what you're gonna say next, Vhack. Did you find all the stuff? Yes. All right, th these are good. I think there might be one more thing we need, but it will be harder to get. What is it? Okay, so I go fix the greenhouse. Let's take the bus again. <clears throat> Honestly, it sounds like you're just not having a very good time with your friend, to be honest. <clears throat> Oh, I hate that. I Like, it's fine to play evil characters. It's fine, but don't ruin everyone's fun. Like, you're not alone here. Right, penguins? Right? Welcome to the chat, by the way. Like, it's fine, but just don't be an asshole. I don't know. I don't understand why people have to make it about themselves and it's a group activity. All oh, right. Okay. Same. So, where's the bus stop? Hold on. Oh, it's there. Oh, fuel. We need it. Okay. Let's go to Winterberry. <laughs> no, Sora. Sorry, I swear to God, if it crashes now, I'm gonna be so angry. <laughs> I'm gonna be fuming. <coughs> no, 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 guys, 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 do not jinx it. Do not jinx it. Okay, so, gotta repair the greenhouse. Sora woke up and chose violence. Sora woke up and chose chaos. Okay, that's done. Normal garbage. Yeah. Bag of seeds, glass vines, and stone bricks. Do I have that stuff? I have that stuff! Yay! Yeah, here. I love my greenhouse. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Hold on. <gasps> that is gorgeous! Wow! That is so nice. What the hell? <gasps> that is so cool. What the hell? <gasps> no way! That is awesome. That is so cool. Oh, all this stuff. Yo. That is so cool. I, I suppose with those things, like with children, right? It, it kind of depends on the comfort level of the group, but the, the group's comfortable with. I've been productive today with some editing stuff. Let me bring some chaos here. <laughs> Oh boy, what did you edit? Were you editing your Nuzlocke? Oh god, I, I don't know how you do it. I've been having a not good time with editing. <laughs> I've been trying to edit a video that um, I can't tell you what it is. Wait, what do you mean? Okay, I can't tell you what it is, but as I would, you know, ruin the surprise, but it's such a pain. I do like 10 seconds a day. <laughs> Not the chaos, please. Yeah, that sounds very sad, Goku. It's so time consuming, Kai. That's why I usually pay people to do it for me. But I was like, you know what? I'm trying to free up my calendar recently, so I have more time for my, you know, for myself and my projects. So I'm gonna go do it i'm gonna i'm gonna go and i'm gonna edit it oh my god i regret it got to love surprises i think you guys will like it i think you guys will like it i'm excited to show you uh, but i think you will like it i have like a sneaking suspicion that you like it <clears throat> thank you for the hybrid Uma. thank you seems like a good trade to be fair Good trade, Goku. Yeah, I did it. Were you able to repair it? Tell me. It's ready. 
There were all sorts of seeds, beans and beets, bell peppers, lemons, carrots. That is amazing! Oh my golly, peppers! Beans! <laughs> that is such a dream come true, Hank. Right place at the right time as well. Don't sell yourself short, big guy. Do you know how much cooking we can do with all this? Alright, there's some work to do. Got any new equipment, and I'm gonna find some more of the captain's recipes. Thank you, Hank. You're breathing new life into the valley. No, no V hack. I would never. I would never. Mm, delicious new life. <clears throat> it's like that trade offer meme. Alright, so. I think there was some, they said there's some more items available. Okay, oh, here we go. Now I can make that onion soups quest. Okay. I can level up my kitchens. Wonderful. Okay, this is great. This is great. This is good. All right. Okay. So are we in High Lake? I can build the upgrade kitchen. It's all coming together. <gasps> it's all coming together. Okay. Where's my kitchen? Here. Yeah. <gasps> it's all coming together. I'm so excited to upgrade the kitchen. It's so time consuming. Every time I try and do anything, I kind of have to Google it. <laughs> it's so annoying. How do I filter a thing? Oh, I can only filter things with this. Where's the kitchen stuff? Here. Basic cutting board. I'll make two. No, just the one's fine. I can still make more later. Alright, okay. I don't know if I have the space. I don't know. <clears throat> it's not something I enjoy too much editing, I mean. It's something I'm okay at it, you know, I kind of know what I'm doing. Oh, this is not good for my decoration scores, okay. But ugh, it's gotta be done. It's really expensive to have someone else do it for you, so I do it, but I am unhappy about it. I'll let you know. <laughs> Thanks to Stretch, thank you. Mm. <sighs> oh, jeez, I don't have space for this. <clears throat> okay, hold on. <clears throat> this is an issue. Okay. Okay. What's the stats on this kitchen? Oh my god, that is so bad. But nothing's nearby, so that's okay. That's okay. We're, we're fine. We're gaming. We're gaming. But hold on, is that the old fridge? Hold on. No, that's okay. Where's the old fridge? Was there no fridge in there? <laughs> hey, happy Saturday! How's your Saturday going? Alright. <clears throat> now I can uh, cook more things. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Now I can uh, do a French onion soup. <gasps> yeah. Okay, so slice the bread. Slice, slice, slice. Boil the onion. Boil, boil, boil. Simmer the butter. Simmer, simmer, simmer. I love French onion soup. It's so good. Oh my god, I love French onion soup so much. Hello, cheap. And we need some fuel. Cook. <laughs> if only it was that easy. If only cooking was that easy. Can you imagine? A big onion is a good onion. Yes. Okay, wonderful. So, <clears throat> I can put some of the food in here because I don't need all of it. But where did it go? Onion soup? Onion? Here. So three of these can go in here. I don't find the tiny inventory space easy. Yes. So my thing that upsets me is that I can't sell, like, old things, even though there's a price tag on them? Like, why is there a price tag on things if I can't sell them? I've always wanted to try it. <gasps> You've never had it? Oh my god, it's so nice. I hope you get to try it, Wabo. Hello, Pierre. Hey, how you doing? Oh, onion soup is so nice, guys. If you haven't had it, have French onion soup. It's delightful. Soup. <clears throat> okay. Done. Congratulations, hoarding decoration items always were a recipe for success in attracting customers, yet elegance was never a priority. That summarizes my band breakfast, yeah. 
Cooking is easy after three years of skilling and several years of work. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm good at cooking. But it's way more effort than just chucking things into a pot and being like, right? Yeah, French onion soup. It's so nice, latte. Burn all the onions for them away. No, Sarah, not the violence, please. I've not seen it on any menus yet. You should make it. It's really easy to make. It's re like, it, yeah, you should make some. It's not that difficult. <clears throat> I'm sure you could manage. Okay. Was it prestige level five? Okay, I can do that. What's my prestige level now? Never heard of it? I guess it's a very French thing. Okay, the prestige level's almost there, to be honest. Like, we're, yeah, we're getting there. Nine, I can, oof. I can, yeah, I can do that, I can do that, hold on. Nine. Oh, no, wait, she wants 38. Yeah, I can, here we go. I can do all the demanding shit now. Except the food ones. The food ones are annoying. Um, yeah. That one's... Okay, yep. Yep, you're good as well. Here you go. Haven't made in forever. I make it fairly regularly, to be honest. There's a song. Okay, I'm scared to ask, but what's the song? Last one has been 27 hours making stock for ramen. Ooh, that is the good shit. That is nice. That's the good shit right there. I'm having ramen tonight, but <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm just gonna pay someone to make it for me. Because I'm, I'm not gonna put that much effort into it. <clears throat> and I still want the nice stuff, see? You see the issue I'm facing here. In cans? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never had it in a can, and if I did, I would probably lose my French passport. They would probably, you know, have someone knock at my door and be like, Hey, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to return that. <laughs> I first saw it in a kitchen nightmare episode, and it was a bad one, not the bad one. Chanson de l'Oignon, really? That's a thing? Really? I mean, some canned soups are... I like canned tomato soup. I like canned tomato soup. Um, Wouldn't want to have canned French onion soup, to be honest. I am not keen to find out what that's like. Okay. Just, you know, making our rooms look a bit more ugly for the reading. All right, just who, who wants a little random pot in there? You don't have a pot yet, here you go. Who wants a mirror to look at themselves? Sure, here you go. Some books, who wants to study? You wanna study? Sure, here you go. Who am I to deny you that? No, not cam soup, no! No! Don't cook me, please don't cook me. I didn't like soup that much already. Think about cat makes me nauseous. Oh no. Oop. Canned ham is canned ham a thing? Oh, I do. Does this doesn't spark joy? Canned ham does not spark joy. Running low on trash. Okay, is there anything we could put in our like outside area? <clears throat> Cause that could be nice. A little guitar, but it's expensive. Bonsai, that's cheap enough. That's cheap. Just buying all the cheap stuff now. As cheap as we can go. Sure, putting some books outside. That seems safe. Uh huh. Oh, actually, what does the bedroom, uh, bathroom here look like? It's weird and salty. Not gonna lie, that doesn't sound pleasant. Oh, I guess I could upgrade, I think, the bathroom. What's my light? Just a bathroom stuff. Bathroom. Oh yeah, I can upgrade the bathroom. Canned ham on pizza is the bane of my existence. That sounds disgusting, not gonna lie. Oh, I have two bathrooms here. That sounds really gross. Canned sausage? Which- is it a- which brand? I'm scared to ask, but which brand? 
Okay, let's yoink all of this stuff. Replace it with nicer stuff. <laughs> oh my god, okay, that sounds <clears throat> like an absolutely iconic song and I have to listen to it now. I have to go listen to it after stream. <clears throat> that sounds amazing. I mean, how can you not love the French onion soup? It's delicious. Okay, so this one's a bit of a space issue as well in here. Okay. Here we go. Does this help? And then I suppose I could decorate this stuff. Maybe, maybe that's gonna be nice. Here's some books in case you wanna be cultured. Some more plants, you know, for the outside. <laughs> Can schnitzel? <sighs> oh my god, I'm one away, okay. <clears throat> Do not have positive feelings about canned schnitzel. It's very Swedish. Are they actually nice? Like, how much are we, um, are we gonna judge you, Dad? That's what I'm asking. <clears throat> spam, spam on rice. It was really nice. I really enjoyed spam on rice. To be fair, that was nice. I like that. <clears throat> Mr. Racha, that is. That sounds really nice. My parents used to put it on the old kind of pizza they made and it just didn't taste good. Oh my god, Latvia, that sounds awful. Jesus, I'm sorry you went through this traumatic childhood. <laughs> Canned burgers? I just made that up, I hope. I really hope you did. Can't bu please tell me a canned burger isn't real, but it sounds like it would be real and I hate that. But please tell me it isn't. Please lie to me and tell me it's not real. Please. Okay. Oh, a new quest? Okay, what's what's what I have to do? Level 2 campfire? I don't think I can do that yet. Okay, so that's a prompt for future me. Let's go find Wade. Wherever Wade is at. Can cheeseburgers- Please, no, please, no, 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 no. Please stream crash now, please. I beg of you, internet. I'm gonna eat you crash. Please, internet crash. I can't, I can't deal with this, please. No, no, no. <coughs> please, no, no, please. Oh, that's all disgusting. It is okay, but he has a two, two kilograms. That's too many kilograms. Canned cans. I, I mean, I guess how would you transport a can? Oh, Lord. <coughs> Okay, the weight doesn't live here either, but I'm just gonna take care of my property while I'm here. Because else I have no income and we can't have that. We, I need my good good income. My good good passive income. <laughs> Please, I just, why, why are we putting everything? I mean, some canned things are very nice, don't get me wrong. But some things just do not belong in cans, you know? Some things simply do not. There is such a thing as going too far. And this is it. We have gone too far. Where does the hell does Wade live? So it's not the A24. It's not Sawdust. It's is it Dark Rive? That would surprise me if it, he's in the No wait, is he in Whitestone Bay? I just had like a memory come back to me. Wait, what's canning season? Okay, Snaggle, that is not something I'm familiar with. What is canning season? Oh, here it is. Ooh, the stench, the marvelous stench. Yo, wait, don't be fucking rude. The sweet, slimy funk of the onion cup warding with the butter, infusing the grainy chunkiness of the bread, and smothered by all like scrumptious cheese. That's quite the vocabulary you sprung out of nowhere. Didn't think you could make something sound so delicious and so gross at the same time. Sorry, that was my stomach speaking. I was starting to see the pearly corrugated metal gates. <laughs> I didn't expect you to actually bring me back anything. Mr. this soup makes me feel all warm inside. And not just because it's a burning my gullet. I don't know how I could ever thank you. See, I don't know much about those things, but I do know why you're garbage. Do you think your little business could use a little cleanup duty? Yeah! <gasps> oh my- <laughs> He's so cute! 
<laughs> wait! Oh, baby! With unmatched enthusiasm, Wade offered Hank his garbage collection services. His speedy little feet were great for grabbing any litter left behind by lazy guests. Oh my god. I love him so much. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. I actually missed his last line. <laughs> As an end for my headphone saga, I realized I could just use an uh, um, extension cave for my old ones. Oh, well, that worked out for you. Isn't winter can season? We don't have a canning season. I've never heard of that as a concept. Well, can't you think of it? Humans are a never-ending pit of waste. <laughs> Does feel like I'm trying to use them up on the ocean sometimes. Oh, don't you worry about a thing. I was born in a trash can. <laughs> Listen, if you set me up a little base that I can work from. <gasps> I can keep your operation clean as a whistle. <gasps> oh my god. No resort to lock the service by zero. <gasps> He can turn it on. Once active, he will automatically gather all the pieces of garbage that guests are around in that area. He will charge a number of coins. Can check in, okay. Oh, okay. I have lots of money soon. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Hey, Green, how you doing? Hey. Oh, I see. I've never done that. That's not a concept I'm familiar with, Snaggle. Am I the only one in chat who's not familiar with that concept at all? Because that's new to me. <clears throat> yeah, honestly, the trash collection service sounds awesome. I'll, I'm gonna do that right now in the A24 because there, lots of trash there. Oh, nice! I hope you had a good night. I'm doing great, thank you. It's more of a really, really thing, I see. <laughs> so I guess it makes sense if I'm not familiar with it. Oh, I don't know where the hell I'm gonna fit a trash thing here, but I'm sure as hell gonna try. Yeah, I've never canned anything myself. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. <laughs> Thanks for the redeem. Thank you. Yeah, oh my god, that sounds awesome. Oh, okay, it can't be too close to your room, so maybe that's not a good area to put it in. I mean, can I just put it in the bar? <laughs> can I just... In the bathroom, can I just... <laughs> can I just do that? Like, does the game just let me do that? Like, how, how does this affect anything? Wait, hold on. It felt way too long. Did you oversleep? Minus 15 decoration. Like, <laughs> can I just... Does it allow me to do that? No. Like, how do I use this? Hold on, I didn't understand. Garbage. Is anyone ever resort to unlock it? The cabin management screen. Oh, I see. <clears throat> It allows me, but it, I gotta check the room stats. I see. I see, I see, I see. So which one is this bedroom here? Bedroom five. Seems like it didn't suffer too massively. Should be okay. But what if I put it here? <laughs> this is very silly. You slept too long, which is why I confused myself. Oh, I see. <laughs> Happens to the best of us, don't worry. <clears throat> okay. Actually, I mean, I have no bedrooms near here, so I might as well just junk it in here. Okay. I did these 500 a day. Safe changes. Yes, in I have loads of money, so that's okay. Oh, a sentence I never thought I would ever say, but I have lots of money. Here we go. Okay, nice. Ooh, uh, Timber Crossing. I did a quest there. What's this one? She more guesses the hygienic trade. Okay, I see. Ouchies! Who yoted something at me? That's rude. No manners. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Got something in my throat there. 
It wasn't me. I don't know, man. I don't know, Green. It seems like, um... It sounds to me like it was you. Um... Timber Crossing? Is that the one? It was a nice yeet. I disagree. There's no such thing as a nice yeet. Good morning, Neon. How are you doing? The chat command is lying. Oh, it would never. The chat command doesn't lie. How dare you imply otherwise? How dare you? Okay, where's my... Where's the shark? Oh, oh here. I feel the sleepiness today. I think we're all having a sleepy day. Me too. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> it's um it's one of them post having gone out nights, so I'm tired. Don't care for the redeem, don't care. I choose violence today. Oh no. <coughs> <coughs> that makes sense, sorry, you were sick. That's pussy at women conquest. Okay, is the job complete? Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, ich habe eine neue Quest. Was ist die neue Quest? Oh, danke für den Hydrate, danke. Und den Stretch, danke. Thank you, Miku. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Every day since I got COVID has been a different thing that was dominant. You know what? Ich hatte das gleiche, wenn ich, wenn ich Corona hatte. Es war eine Parade von Symptomen und immer auf und ab, auf und ab. Mm. Oh, German. <laughs> Your worst nightmare. Es tut mir leid. <laughs> no sleepy day for me today. It's convention name a city. <gasps> Eternal Shadow Highway. Have fun! I can get a t-shirt. Yo, I can get a t-shirt. I want a t-shirt. Sleepy day? Yeah. For everyone. Wir sind alle sehr müde heute. Okay, so. Ich brauch zwei Leute für sich. Oh, okay, warte. Ich muss schlafen. Wenn man krank ist, fängt man an, Deutsch zu sprechen. <lacht> oh nein! Ich könnte mir nichts Schlimmeres vorstellen. Isn't today TwitchCon? Yes, today is TwitchCon! Which is why Twitch is gonna be pretty quiet, I think, this weekend. Everyone's at TwitchCon. <lacht> Guten Morgen! Guten Morgen, Neon Wave! Yeah, I, I wish I would like have. I would like to go to Twitch Kanye as one day. It was completely unrealistic this year, but I really want to go to American Twitch Con someday. It sounds better than the European one. I mean, the European one was really fun. I should, I should again. Auch die in San Diego sehen. Apparently, it's way bigger. Way nicer. Wanna see my wives? Same, Kaya, same. It's a great... Like, I don't care about the con. The con is mega, but... Um, it's a great way to meet up with friends. Sonst hätte ich nie all diese Leute getroffen. Dolce... Oh, Dolce is going fun! Yeah, there is a European Twitch con. Um, the, pe the city changes on the year, but this year was in Amsterdam. Yep. So, I love Trash Collection, but here auch ganz gut. Heilig ist dann auch nicht klein. Oh, kann ich das hier hin tun? Warte. Aha! Yeah, green. I think a lot of streams are gonna be quiet because of TwitchCon. Mm. Okay. <coughs> My mom is in Amsterdam right now. Really? That's funny. Yeah, next year is gonna be Paris. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, Neon, that also sounds really fun. Okay, so. Wo bin ich heilig? Level 2 come fire. Come to that, I think. She promised she'd bring me strip waffles. Mmm, that's so nice. Yeah, it's Paris, I'm sorry. It is Paris next year. <laughs> oh, Ume, that is very convenient. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Gotta take care of high winter very now.
That is convenient. Traveling to Amsterdam was not it. Let me tell you, es war ein Altraum. Yeah, uh huh. Ume, can we all crash at your place? <laughs> we're all just gonna show up like, yo, we're here. What's up? Emotional damage! I heard the p and I was like, I know what this is. Okay, where the hell can I fit this bad boy? Yeah, that seems like an appropriate place. Well, actually, never mind. There's a better place for this. If I could fit it here. Ooh, that's... Mm, that's iffy. Never mind. Back into the, this... <laughs> this is really awful, not gonna lie. I, I kinda hate that. But oh well. Okay, Shadow, have fun! Have fun, have fun. Only there was enough space. Hey, 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 hey. So, so you know how, you're, how my, I'm your favorite streamer? Hey, hey, hey. Prestige level minus, yo. Shotgun on the couch, no. It's fine, I'm sleeping with the f <laughs> on the floor. I kinda wanna, I mean, I'll be okay with the floor. It's but it beats paying a hotel in Paris. Wait, I can I can do all of these. Can I? No, I can't do this one. Okay. I can't I miss the Netherlands. I lived there for one and a half years. It's a shame you weren't a Twitch con. You could have been our guide. <laughs> Oh my god, green, enjoy! That sounds nice. If it if it is there, there's a lot of hotels. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Our hotel in Paris was kinda shit. I'm gonna be honest, the hotel we had was kinda crap. <laughs> oh my god, the grocery shopping is kind of annoying me, not gonna lie. Don't have eggs. Oh my god, I don't want to go grocery shopping again, please. I don't want to, no. It's the most annoying thing in the world. Please, I don't want to do this. I guess you're just gonna have strawberries. Duct tape, that guy duct taped to the ceiling. Oh my god, that's so funny. Is that what we're gonna have? Yeah, I, I know the distance. Like, I don't mind traveling far in, to be honest, for for a con. That's fine. I think it's the... Uh, I don't want, I want to pay for a tell. What the fuck is wrong with me? Ow, my feelings. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Thanks. Oh, you sound ready. Yeah, honestly, I went pretty spontaneously. I had no plans on going myself. Until, like, my friends were like, Hey, yo, who's going to TwitchCon? I was like, what's TwitchCon? <laughs> <laughs> and then I went, and the rest is history. Oh my god, the service! Okay, it's been a few years since I've been to Paris, but the service was not fun. Apparently it got better, apparently it got better. I told a story on stream yesterday, but last time I went, someone yelled at me. Waitstaff yelled at me for off for ordering food, and I was like, "Please, I just want to eat the the cake. It looks good. Please, don't yell at me. I'm sorry." Okay. How dare I order food in your food establishment? <laughs> And I think at this point, I, like, it's been a while, right? So I was like, was I a teen or something? I don't know. But I was like, please don't yell. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, so I've done whatever I can. How dare you make me work my job? No, it was a normal time of day. Like it was 
The employees were there and working. They were just angry because I ordered food. Like, okay, I've told it yesterday on stream, but I'll tell it again. Basically, they, <laughs> what they were unhappy with is I... When we arrived, they took everyone's orders, and I wasn't very hungry, so I just took, um... I ordered, um... Just like a drink. And then uh, people were having dessert. Yoink. And I decided at that point, hey, that looks really nice. Could I also have some food? And then they were like losing their shit. Like, why didn't you see this before? Like, basically they ordered dessert and I ordered dessert a little bit later. But people were still eating and it, was, it wasn't anywhere near closing time. They were so mad at me and I was like, I'm sorry. I just want food too. Please. Yeah, I mean, I always tip. And unless the, the service is awful. But I was like... Oh, is he gonna take care of this? Nice. I was like, I'm sorry. Please, no bully. Oh, I, I should build on here too. Oh, no, he's taking care of it. Perfect. Okay, so... What's the... I want to buy more recipes. And then I should probably go buy grocery shopping. Yes. It was, it was pretty bad. Honestly, I don't... I think I still tipped something because I never don't tip. But I... Always tip something. I know, it was really fucked up. And I was like... <laughs> I was <laughs> quite young. I was like, I don't know. I don't remember what age I was when I went to Paris, but I was like, hee, please, I'm a teenager. And it's not that I wasn't rude to them, right? I'm always very nice to people. Especially weed stuff. I don't remember if I already bought this one, so... You wouldn't have? Yeah, I was just like, I had a sign on me that just said, please no bully, I'm young. <laughs> and I was told that it got better. Maybe if you're native, like, maybe if you're like from Paris, people are nicer to you. I don't know, maybe they're nicer to you then. I'm unsure. Okay, um, what was I gonna do? I was going to... Oh my god, I've... Oh yeah, grocery shop. Yeah, I've never had this much, this bad service. But I've had bad service in other places too, so you know. <laughs> well, Um is from Paris. So it's different. People were very mean to me, though I felt very bullied. But again, apparently it got better. So I'm keen to go back and see how it changed. I'm keen to see how it changed, because apparently it's better now. But I, I, th I think I saw a person die. I did see a per- I see- Oh my god, I remember now. Um, <laughs> when I was there... Okay, first of all, our hotel was like next to this like... I guess ro bridge thing? It's like over the... like what do they call it? An overpass? And I'm pretty sure... like there was a lot of homeless people camping out there and I'm pretty sure one of them died? Um, while we were there, so that was a thing. And then, oh my god, it was it was beautiful, right? I was in Notre Dame, which was gorgeous. But then someone unalived themselves in there. And we were like, oh, I think we're gonna go now. <laughs> and the police arrived and like sent everyone out. And we were just like, I think I, I was a skill, right? So we were just a bunch of skill kids. We were just like, oh. Oh no. <laughs> it's a shame because it was really gorgeous when we were inside. But I was like, oh. Well, that was traumatic. I think that was the first time I heard a gun be shot, ever. Yeah, that, that, so that was a time in my life. Yeah, while we were in there, someone shot themselves. Yeah. And we were like, hmm. Oh. I know, I feel like people like Quebecois. I feel like the French, we like it. I, I it's like, it's fun. <laughs> But yeah, it was it was awful. Someone unalived themselves. We were like, whoa, whoa.
Oh my, Pr Preeta, what have you done? Preeta, what have you done? But yeah, I mean, I always thought that like France was fine until I, I lived here. I moved here and I was like, oh my God, people are so nice here. <laughs> people are so much nicer here. Yeah, it was wild. Like, thank God we weren't like right up to it. But we were like, it was not a fun time. It was, it was a pretty bad time to be honest. Like, Amy, I'm sorry if, like, you know, um, it is offensive to you that people had, like, those bad experiences. You can rag on Germany, though. I do. I do all the time. Germany sucks. Germany sucks ass. I've had a horrible time in Germany. It sucks ass. <laughs> it 100% does. Um, but, yeah, people have had bad experiences and they want to talk about it. Oh, my God. It was awful. No, I'm sorry. Germany sucks ass, guys. Please be honest with yourselves. Germany sucks. <laughs> I have had a horrible time in Germany too. <laughs> you guys think? Yo, you guys think because I shit on France that Germany is safe? Germany was just as bad, by the way. Yo. I have never been more, felt more victimized in the streets as in Germany. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry Germans, but it's true. <laughs> what happened in Germany? God, okay. So much. Oh. Um, okay, I was, when we were teens, I was visiting a friend in Munich and we went to a swimming pool and someone grabbed our boobs and then try to drown us. So that was fun. <laughs> then I don't think I've ever been in Germany as a non-adult and not been yelled at racist shit. When I went to Munich as an adult, people were just, you know the stare you get when they're not happy you're here, when they kind of shove into you when they pass you by a little bit too hard to be an accident. Yeah, no, I don't like Germany either. G no, Germany's do not enjoy. <laughs> Guys, we're shitting on Paris and France, but Germany's is bad. Guys, don't get on your high horse. Germany sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, no. It's not just Bavaria, though. Other places have not been pleasant either. I mean, I've had nice things in Germany. Guys, similar things happen in Frankfurt and in um, Düsseldorf and uh, Mönchengladbach and Berlin. You know, all, all those fun places. So, so it's not just Bavaria, guys. Germany is deeply racist. I'm sorry to break the news to you. Hi, Garo. I'm okay. How are you? Honestly, good for you if you've never had bad experiences. I mean, again, it's nice, but uh... Germany is not that great either. Deeply racist place. And nowhere have I been asked more often Look, guys, you can say whatever you want about the UK. And you can say a lot of things about the UK. But at least in the UK, no one asks me, but where are you really from? N no one has ever asked me here where I'm really from. Okay, so I grew up in Austria, and it was interesting. It's gotten better. It's gotten better. But <laughs> so Austria, it's this, it's got it's this fun thing where it's outside of the capital. Austrians don't really like to leave Austria, except for like I guess a short holiday in Mallorca. But Austrians don't like to leave Austria. You know, it's kind of you know you you. You're born in Austria, and that's why you're buried, you know? I, I, that's it. 
So... <laughs> I... Oh my god, the types of questions I've been asked in Austria, they're like... <laughs> They'd be like, okay, so where are you from? And I'm like, well, you know, this place in Austria. And they'll be like, oh, okay, but no, where are you really from? And I'm like, what you mean? You probably want to know is that from, I'm, I'm from Vietnam. And they go, oh, where in China is that? And you're like, oh, where do I start? I don't know where to start with this. I don't know where to start with this. I just... You know, where do I start explaining? We are from a small place, to be fair. We are from a small place, yeah. It's not like Vienna. Mm. I get asked at where I live. It's so annoying. It's really annoying. People ask me where I'm from most of the time since my accent's all over the place. I get that asked too, right? But when I answer, people then go, no, 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 but where are you really from? Like, you just want to know. You just want to hear my Asian, you know? Yeah. Hey, Cotton Tail King, how you doing? I've been asked where I'm from in skill. It was pretty funny considering I have a solid dialect and lived in my city the, oh, my whole life. I have the same thing. Oh my god, I'm like, I sh speak a very specific, obscure Austrian dialect. And people will be like, no, but like, how, oh my god, how did you s learn German so well? And I'm like, well, I grew up here. And they're like, but wow, that's so impressive. I'm like, it's not. I grew up here. <laughs> yeah, they just stare. Yeah, you get a lot of stares, Andre. No, definitely. I think the thing is, Uma, that people are saying a lot of us have had bad experiences. And on average, I think most of us have had more bad experiences with this place compared to other ones. No one's saying everything about it is shit. We're just saying that the things that happened to us there were really shit, and so we don't want to go back. The curse of a non-standard accent. I mean, have you heard me? Yeah, we're in China, and sometimes you also get... Oh, but okay, not in China, we're in Japan. You're like, okay. So, okay, I'm gonna tell you how shockingly there's more than three countries in Asia. Because they also forget about India, by the way. They know, they know South Korea and sometimes North Korea. They know China and they know Japan. They don't, they forget about India. Are you Vietnamese? I am, I am. There's not as much diversity here, but it's gotten better over the last decade. It has, it has gotten better. And to be fair, Monsoon. Hi, Monsoon, by the way. Yes. Americans, as many issues as I've had with America, at least they know where Vietnam is because they went to war there. At least, you know, yay. <laughs> I guess, oh, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, uh -huh, where are you really from? It's just uh, so annoying. I miss dialect mill. I miss dialect mill as well. You have a dialect that shouldn't that question obsolete immediately. I know. And even, okay, even if it doesn't make it obsolete, the fact that I, when I explain... Why is there not another boiling one? What? Can't I make this? God damn it. Um, when I then explain it, you don't keep asking. You know, it's okay to be curious, even though it's really annoying. But once you got your answer, move on and accept it, you know? Which Korea? Oh my god, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, Sarah. The world actually is pretty big. Sorry to break it to you. Isn't Russia part of Asia? Oh, well, okay. In, Aus <laughs> In the average Austrian's mind, it's just Russia's a separate thing. Oh, that is embarrassing. Wait. Your shampoos. Oh, we're back. I think we're back. 
Can I have the mods pop in a quick message to please refresh the page? Thank you, thank you. Stream is back. Thank you, thank you. It's just the plain interruption. Don't worry about the engine fire. Hey, thank you. Don't worry about the engine fire, guys. What engine fire? Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Please do not- please don't worry about it. No one, Bliss, there's no mutiny. There is no mutiny, guys, please. No mutiny. Not a th please, no. Do not, do not. I swear to god. Okay. Ah, uh, well, I guess... <laughs> guys, I guess the moral of the story is, man, don't be racist. <laughs> Let's all just not be racist. Hey, can we just agree to not be racist? Can we make a pact in chat right now? Hey, racism, none of that, please. <laughs> no mute. No, you're not the cap now, Abo. No. Exactly. We're all. Every place has their issues. No place is perfect. They all have their issues. Definitely. Uh huh. Okay, I want to make something with corn. Raisin, kind of cringe. Exactly, kind of cringe vibe, bro. Not vibing with racism. Mm. Kind of cringe. Not being racist sounds pretty reasonable. Right? I thought so too. I thought we were being pretty reasonable. Oh, I've just got so many herbs. What can I do with those? Kind of cringe. But Cam, I'm white. I have privilege. How can I not? Okay, fine. If it's my wife, you can be racist to me. <laughs> No slurs in chat, except if it's my wife, then it's okay. <laughs> if, if it's if <laughs> it's it's okay. <laughs> racism drops to zero. I've defeated racism. I want the quote. <laughs> I woke up to and I thought today's a racist day. I'm sorry. Maybe you should go back to sleep. <laughs> Pretty witch. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty cringe. I kind of cringe, guys. Kind of cringe. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck did I just miss? I, I, you know, slurs pretty cringe. But if it's my wife, it's okay. See, that's the thing, Neon. Sometimes racists don't care about logic or facts. I mean, racists have been known to literally say. I don't care about the facts, I disagree with the facts. Oh my god, yeah, it's okay. Only Kaya can be racist, to me specifically. The wife are one of you 200. <laughs> Kaya specifically, but if the other ones ask nicely, maybe I'll let them call me a slur as well. <laughs> I mean, it's nine, yeah, most of the time they don't care. If, if they ask nicely, maybe the other ones also get to cause a comment. Just a little slur as a treat, exactly. But only me. It's it's not a, it's not a pass to be to be a, to be racist towards other people. Just specifically me, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still don't have enough. Oh. They just have different facts from the rest of us. Yeah, yeah, which to be fair, I do, Kaya, so you would make a very good point there. Because I, in fact, do eat with sticks. So you were onto something there, and I'm very proud of you. <laughs> we pee the same, we're the same family, that's right, we're all piss bonding here. We're all little piss babies. That's right. That's looking good. <clears throat> From 70 years ago, exactly. <laughs> like, dividing by zero. That's very powerful. Only slur light is against the French, except Ume. <laughs> so wait, hold on. <laughs> Gonna disappoint my ancestors and not be racist. Oh my god, look at that. Little rebellion over there. Little rebel. The thing is, you know, I could argue with people. <clears throat> I could do that. But I don't have the energy, it gets tiring. So at some point I just kind of move on with my life, you know? 
Okay, so I had to I had to have a German white girl teach me about how to eat with chopsticks. That's a funny story. Um, you guys know the VTuber? Oh, they're stuck. Do you know? You guys know the VTuber Milky? Milky Chan. You guys know Milky Chan? Okay, hold on. Can I move this out of the way? Yes. She's the one who taught me how to eat with chopsticks when we were like... When we were... How old are you? Like 14? Something like that? 14, 15, 16? She taught me how to eat with chopsticks. <laughs> Ever tried eating sea with chopsticks? <laughs> Partially. Most racist people I have met and seen are those who claim for to be anti-racist. Is it the... Oh, I can't be racist. I have, I have a so-and-so friend. The one with two E's. Yes, that's the one. Uh-huh, two E's. Uh-huh. She taught me how to use chopsticks. <laughs> yes, exactly those kind of people. Uh-huh. So I freed you. Good job. Okay. Let's sleep through the night. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I was, I couldn't, I wa didn't know how to use chopsticks, like, at all. So we were there in this, like, I think it was a Japanese restaurant. And we're trying to have sushi, I think. And here she was teaching me. And now I know how to do it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh hey, we're back! Please refresh. We are back. Please do refresh. Oh my god, that's so much garbage. Thank you, thank you. That's so much garbage. <gasps> Just a little turbulence. Hey, Soljan, hello. We're back, we're back. Hey, money. Sorry, sorry. I'm probably gonna end stream soonish simply because my connection today is not it. We're having a few uh, technical difficulties with a stream today. I think, yeah, they're doing some maintenance on my, on my internet. But we're still, I still wanna, I'm gonna maintain all of my stuff real quick. And we're back, we're back, we're back. It's a little bit annoying, but uh... Dim tech -dies, that's right, we got them tech -dies. The pinnacle of YouTubing is to become Amish. Yeah, uh-huh. Progress? I don't need that. Yeah, uh-huh. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the engine. Fritos, don't think about the engine. Why are you thinking about the engine? I see you thinking about the engine. Don't do that. How long? Probably not much longer. I'm probably gonna end stream very soon, to be honest. Simply because of the issues. Mm -mm. I mean, that's a good point, you know? It's true, you cannot struggle. When there's no struggle to be had. Which one can I? 25, 23. We're okay on this one. Alright. 12? I cannot provide this good food. What the fuck are you on about? Sir, you expect too much from me. This is not something I can provide. Oh my god, I haven't seen Atlantis in forever, Neon. Uh, but yes, that rings a bell. <laughs> okay, Latpea, take care. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good day. Wait, is... Okay, okay. Why is my prestige level so shit? Oh my god. Absolutely shit prestige level. I, this is a really funny coincidence because I was talking about the Amish literally yesterday. 
Also having a conversation like this with my friend. Of like, hey, how did they refrigerate food? And we're like, ah, oh, I don't know. Yeah, how do you refrigerate the foods? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We didn't find out. We were just in a bar. <laughs> we were just sitting in a bar like, hey, I wonder. And that was kind of the end of the wondering, you know. We didn't get much further than that. Wait, oh, that's a fuel chest. If anyone knows, please tell me, because we, we stopped thinking about it really quickly. Well, we're like... Yeah, pickling was one of our ideas. Salt? We didn't think of salt. We just kind of like, do they like make a hole in the ground? <laughs> and then I was like, well, when it's cool here, I do keep some of my foods outside because it's cold enough, right? But I would assume it's not always that cold. Smoking? That's a good idea. <clears throat> Gas pirate fridges. Oh, okay. Do they use that? But how would you get ice? Right next to the poop hole. Yeah, it's, you don't have lots of questions. It, it can't be easy. I imagine it's quite difficult, actually, of a lifestyle. That's so much trash. I love this little guy. He's so amazing. This little guy just out there, bringing me so much trash. I love him so much. Look at this little guy. So useful. It would not be the lifestyle for me or any of us, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so this one's okay. Um, yeah, I mean... Yeah, the basement... I grew up with that too, of having a basement and keeping food there. And same thing where... We keep food outside when it's cold enough. But we do have a fridge. <laughs> oh, not the trash. I don't have a little guy to collect trash in this one. Very sad. Okay. So let's see how we're doing here. We're leaving tomorrow. Can I put in... Yeah, perfect. You people. Basement or cellar, fair enough. Pun unintended. That makes sense, yeah. I'm, I don't think my cellar was cold enough, but you know, maybe it's colder where they are, I don't know. What do I know, really, you know? Oh, wait, I think I need one of these bad boys. <laughs> really deep, <laughs> just a very deep hole, very deep hole. Hey Vikuta, how are you doing? Okay, let's see. Is there anything I can yoit? Oh, actually, everything here looks pretty useful. Okay. So how are we doing here? Um, eight hygienic trait. And nothing I can do about that. Nothing I can do with this. Timber crossing, that's just a matter of time. Completely safe for winter break. That's also just a matter of time. There's nothing else we can do. Don't worry about it, Vikuta. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm probably gonna end stream soon, though. I'm sorry you arrived at an inopportune time. We're having some connection issues today. Um, and also I have plans later. Sorry, Vikuta. These are probably gonna end soon. Download more internet. <laughs> On my way. Yeah, the, so pickling was one of the ideas we had. We didn't think about the salting, but pickling is one of the ideas we had. You could have about to have a meltdown, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I'm just thinking about my cellar back home, right? Um, it's cool. It is kill in there. But there's some things I would not keep there. Like, for things like... Condiments, it's perfectly fine. But I wouldn't keep, like, meat there. Like... 
It's cooler in my cellar, don't get me wrong. It's just not that cool. I'm like, ah, shit. Ah, fuck. Time to end stream. Gotta go. <laughs> Drying and I guess that makes sense, drying and smoking, yeah. Some foods just aren't available. I guess you would have to eat it very fresh, yeah. My, no, I mean, my cellar's kind of cringe vibes. <laughs> my cellar kind of cringe, bro. Thanks for the hydrate, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cringe. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Looking good on this one. I think we're looking pretty good, honestly. I don't know what else I could do. Yeah, I forgot about salting. That's a good idea. I forgot about that. Huge amounts of salt, yeah. How would they get salt? A tree now would be proud of the seller. <laughs> okay, so... Ours, it wasn't that... Like, I've been told that... In the US, cellars are much more prevalent. Like, you'll have like really cool, like big cellars where you can actually do things in the basement, right? Like another room. That's not the kind of, <laughs> that's not the kind of um, cellar we had. <laughs> you would not want a D and D there. It was right next to the bomb shelter. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> it was a uh, our, our our cellar was um. <clears throat> yes, right, right next to uh, the emergency bomb shelter. Yeah, it was a storage thing. It wasn't that I'm gonna hang out there. Yeah, we had a bomb shelter. <laughs> uh huh. You know, this never struck me as weird growing up, but in retrospect, I'm like, this is kind of weird. <laughs> Probably because of the war. Did buy it? So they do do that? So they use- that's- that's cheating. Going to a supermarket that has a refrigerator is cheating. Workshop? Yeah, we didn't even have that. We had, like, dust. The... Oh, I, I- I miss French salt. Yeah, European salt is be kind of different. Oh, I miss Gironde. Salt, I do. We had a bomb shelter in my old school. Yeah! Uh, Europe just has bomb shelters sometimes. Just be like that, you know? What the hell was the thing I was trying to get rid of? It was like something that needed prospector gear. <clears throat> oh, absolutely! Uh huh. Why did you have it? Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. But like, okay, this is a stupid question, but where, where, where do the Amish live? <laughs> Yo, okay. I mean, some. Oh, Styria. I miss Styria. I miss it. Okay, there we go. Eesh. Eesh. A bunker? I mean, you know, we're not using it for anything else, are we? Air raid shelter? Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Sometimes you just have, like, shelters in places. It just be like that sometimes, you know? Okay. I, I really like Sturry, I do. Lancaster country and, and counties are in Pennsylvania. I don't know anything about Pennsylvania. I, so I don't know, does Pennsylvania have... Do they make salt? She massive for the city to get rid of it? Yeah, I guess at this point it was just more inconvenient to get rid of it, right? Parts of Europe, really, didn't know that. Wait, I have a thermometer now? <gasps> nice! Six level, okay. That's too many bedrooms. Oh, a lounge? That is so cute. That is really cute. Okay. I had a class about them. Oh, really? Interesting. Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania. Never been to any of those places. Roll dice for entry. <laughs> it does, sorry, it, it missed my DC actually. They came from Europe? Oh, I had no idea. Well, I guess everything. <laughs> like most, most things, not everything, but most things I would say from that are a lot of things that are now there. 
in Pennsylvania, I came from Europe. I, a not insignificant amount of things, I would say. Mm. You know, by sheer virtue of a colonialism. Europe's past favorite pastime. They fled to the US due to religious persecutions. I am not surprised. From Swiss, really? There seems to be a salt industry there. The more you know. The more you know. Okay. I'm going to quit the menu. And I'm gonna go back to the chatting and I'll go through my chat. Cellars are a better place to store stuff than what the Scots did, which was the stomach of a good haggis for days. I love haggis. I really, really like haggis. It's really nice. It's good. They have salt lakes. Oh yeah, okay, alright, that makes sense. Mm, there's an Amish community not terribly far from where I live. Interesting. See, I've never come across them. I've never come across them. Where's the biggest Chinatown in the world? I don't know. Most Amish speak a type of German dialect. I had no idea. That's so interesting. Formerly the Old Order Amish, a group of traditional Anabaptist Christian church versus the Swiss German as Asian origins. Ha! Huh. The more you know. China? I, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. that checks out, Vikuta. What's haggis? Um, <laughs> it's a Scottish dish. Um, so let me, let me explain haggis to you. So let me read Wikipedia. It's a savory pudding containing sheep's pluck minced with onion, oatmeal, sweet spices, and salt. Basically, it's sheep's stomach. Um, and it's in yeah, it's in case it's it's sheep's stomach. It's like, have you ever had black pudding? It's kind of like that. It's 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 good. I mean, it doesn't sound appealing, but I like it. I I enjoy I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Please please no judging. I enjoy it. It's really nice. Um, a well-spiced haggis is really, really good. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good. It's good. There's actually roadsides with like horse and buggy tra warning for traffic. No way. That's wow. Most old order Amish speak Pennsylvania Dutch and refer to non-Amish people as English, regardless of ethnicity. Interesting. Two Amish subgroups called Swiss Amish, whose ancestors migrated to the United States in the fifties, speak a form of Bernese German. Huh. Low Alemanicization dialect. Interesting. That's fascinating. That is fascinating. I always ask people that to get their reaction. Uh, well, my reaction is kind of boring. I'm sorry to say, I don't know. <laughs> don't know what black pudding is either. It's very British. It, it, look, it does look similar. Okay, so, okay. Yes, um. It does look... Like, this is the type you get in the UK. That type of black pudding. Very similar to haggis. There's something similar in my country? Oh, yeah. Okay, what, what's the thing you have in your country? Yeah, I, I think if you eat meat, if you're not vegetarian or vegan, I would say definitely do give it a try if you get the chance. I think it's worth trying at least once. And they do make really nice vegan haggis as well. Which is just kind of with grains and stuff. It's really nice. Vegan haggis is very nice. So if you get the chance, try it. It doesn't have blood in it. Yeah, but look, the type of like pudding we get here, it looks very similar. Okay, Andre, thanks for hanging out. Take care. I heard we're eating haggis. I love haggis. I really do. I miss it. Where does black pudding actually come from? That's a good question. Black pudding. Apparently, it's from the UK and Ireland. Hmm. Yeah, apparently it's British. What do they subsidize the stomach with? So, I know it's mostly grains and stuff, but let me... Vegan haggis. What do they put in it? It's made of mushroom, nuts, and grains. And to replicate the minced meat texture of the original. Hmm. Huh. I don't know what they case it in though. I, I suppose there would be like, you know, from like vegan sausages, there would be like a vegan alternative. Yeah, I suppose they would not put it in a good stomach. I p suppose there's a vegan like sausage casing. Something like that, probably. 
Yeah, there's vegan sausage casing. It's made of a type of carbohydrate similar to cellulose. So that's what I cased it, I assume. It's not the same as our budano. It's slightly different. Yeah, uh -huh. it's not quite the same. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, okay, so while we talk about huggers, stick around for a second, I'm gonna raid someone. So stick around to discover a new content creator. I'm just going through my raid list right now, seeing if anyone's streaming. So sorry if suddenly you hear something auto playing if I'm too slow to click away from something. No, I mean, I think the word black pudding might refer to both our boudin and what they describe as black pudding, right? But um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not the biggest fan of Wudan or Black Pudding. Thank you for popping in the um, read messages. Your stew from beef stomach strips. It's my type but tasty. I would try it. You know, I would try food. I would try everything once. I'm, I'm really curious about those things. It's weird when you're not used to it culturally, but I try it. Uh-huh. Sounds nice. Made in time for the raid. Just in time. <laughs> for the raid. Until I visit Scotland, I'll say good party. That's valid. Yeah, how would one go to Scotland? Okay. Let's see. Who is streaming just now? Damn, I'm coming up pretty empty here. Okay, unless anyone has a suggestion. For a content creator to read, ideally someone with less viewers than we have right now. Um, ideally someone who, I mean perfectly, it would be perfect if it's someone who doesn't have affiliate yet. But if they're doing, ideally under 1k. I just want to support some smaller content creators. A slightly different recipes. Interesting. Rio review? I saw that, but like she's big, <laughs> you know. Baby, yeah, uh huh, very obscure. I mean, again, Ali, I think I will not, I might not have a good time with it, but I will try. I'll try it. Yeah, things are quiet because of TwitchCon. Like, I'd like to read a smaller content creator, but... Else. I saw Rio streaming and I will pop in later, but yeah, Rio's pretty big. Okay, else I will read into someone from the VTuber category and have a look around. BFB's no go rest, Sora. Right. Go rest. Go rest. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna need. Give me a second. I'm gonna need to quality check if I read someone random. Oh, hold on. They have a super cute model. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna mute my my outfit. Hold on. Let me let me look into. All right. Okay, they look cute. Hilda, Hilda, guys. Okay. Let me look into Hilda, guys. Coming up is pretty... Coming up pretty... Wait, what? Okay, yeah, we can we can raid into them. Uh-huh. That's a, a good idea. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs> no, I was... <laughs> I was waiting for the ad to be over so I could check their stream. But, uh... Yeah, it's pretty empty, pretty empty. But yes, let's let's write it to Hilda. That's a good idea. Okay, thank you everyone for hanging out. <laughs> Happens to me all the time, be hyped up. Okay. Tomorrow is another stream. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. we are doing Chris Choice. It will be between Ib and Needy Streamer Overload, unless something drastically ouchies changes. Thank you so much for hanging out, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Yes, leaving you already, I'm sorry. But I'll be live again tomorrow. Hopefully the internet issues will be fixed by then. So sorry, Bliss. I'm sorry to let you down. I'll be live again in 25 hours. <laughs> Have a fantastic weekend, everyone. Take care and bye-bye.